What is up YouTube, Team Deception 9 here today with you, uh, deck profile for you guys. Um, this is actually a deck I'm actually considering building once Hidden Arsenal 7 does come out. Um, but as of right now, like a lot of this, or not a lot, but some of the stuff is not legal. And as such, I can't really play it. Uh, I'd really like to play this for regionals though, because it's actually a lot of fun. Um, it was something I kind of came up with um, just out of boredom, and I, I've always loved this deck, and uh, I wanted to try and make something that was ridiculous, and it's actually pretty dumb. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right in. Uh, monsters, we have three Gishki Abyss, it's basically your Stratos for the deck. Um, just whenever it's summoned, you can add any Gishki monster with a thousand or less defense from your deck to your hand. Um, so it can search for your Gishki Vision or your Gishki uh, Shadow, it can also search for uh, Zael Gygus, so I mean... Yeah, uh, three Gishki Beasts. This has a lot of synergy with ev like pretty much everything in the deck. Um, you can, if you bring this back, you'll be able to use Abyss as Surge. You can bring this back to Overlay for rank four if you want, or use it as a material for, uh, or not a material, but a tribute for your ritual. Um, you can do the same thing with this, um, even though you can't overlay it for, you know, and yeah. So I mean, and you can also bring back another copy of him, which just, again, allows for rank four plays. <clears throat> and he's just also a salvage target. Next up we get three Gishki Shadows, he's your reinforcement in the army basically for the Gishki Ritual spell card. Um, so, I mean, it's kind of mandatory, you discard it from your hand, and you add any Aqua Mirror or whatever you want from your deck to your hand. And, I mean, you really need to have the Shadows in any, pretty much any version of Gishki because, I mean, if you're playing the Ritual stuff, you need to have it. Um, next up we have Gishki Vision, it's basically the same thing as, sh or as Shadow, um, but for Ritual Monsters instead, and the only downside to it is the fact that it's a level 2. Um, it's kind of a downer just because you can't bring it back off of uh, Beast and go for a rank 4, which is kind of sad, but it, it's whatever, it's still something you can use as tribute fodder for a Ritual and stuff like that as well, which is really good. Um, I play the two Mother Grizzlies. I am playing dualities in here, um, and like if I can't special summon turn one or whatever, which I really don't want to if I'm going first, um, Mother Grizzly is usually always a nice card to set if I don't have the Gishki, uh, the Gishki Abyss already, because um, if they attack this and they can attack more than once or whatever, I can bring out the other Grizzly and then I can bring out an Abyss, search for the Shadow or Vision or whatever I want, and yeah. So, I mean, it's really good for that. So yeah, I play the two Moon Glaciers. Uh, I've actually been able to drop more than one in a, in a single turn, and I've actually been able to be, get a pretty stupid field out on t on my second turn with this deck. Um, it's also it's a level eight, so you can trade in it if it's dead, um, and you can use this with uh, Abyss to get your Zelgigas, or you can distribute this off um, for one of these. So yeah. It's really good, and I mean, the discarding from your opponent's hand is pretty nasty as well. And it's pretty easy to put waters into your graveyard with, like, if they attack both your grizzlies and you have visions and shadows that you can discard, it's easy to flood the graveyard with waters. So, next for the rituals, we have uh, one Gus Kraken, still one of the best uh, rituals for Gishkis, and uh, hands down. Uh, three Levy Anima. This has this is kind of ridiculous with or with these two cards here. Um, you can trade in one, and if you have this in your graveyard, you can return this to your hand. And if you have another trade in, then you can trade in the one you just added back, so on and so forth. It's kind of dumb. Um, it also, whenever it attacks, you draw a card and reveal it. If it's a Gishki, you look at a card in your opponent's hand at random. Um, the draw is pretty nasty. It's 2,700 attack. It's pretty big. And the last monster is three Gishki Zelgigas. Um This is kind of a really ridiculous card. Uh, I can drop three of them in a single turn if I draw the right hand, and that happens. Well, it doesn't have to be three, but like, I mean, even if you just get two out, it's it can be potentially game unless you stop it. Um, you pay a thousand life points, draw a card, and reveal it. If it's a Gishki monster, then you shuffle a card anywhere on the field back into the owner's deck. Um, it can remove back row, it can remove monsters, whatever, it doesn't matter. Anything anything to Zeal Gygus can get just thrown completely off the field. And it's kind of ridiculous. Um, and you can, like, if you don't have another Zeal Gygus attribute to summon him, you can use any of the eights as well as uh, one of the abyss, or you could use these guys as your substitutes for the entire ritual summon. So it's not hard to summon him. 
Spells, we have one card destruction. This card is amazing in this deck. You're playing triple salvage. Your hand size is almost always going to be big, unless like your opponent's really just wrecking you and you have to use all your resources and whatnot. Like. If your hands, if you don't have your cards in your hand, they're on your field pretty much, and usually that just means you have a shit ton of ritual monsters and stuff on your field, and then you're pretty much winning the game at the moment, anyways. Um, but yeah, with the, with the salvages, the aqua mirrors, and whatnot, it's easy to regain any cards that you lose back off of card destruction, and getting the additional draws and being able to fill the graveyard for things like Mullen Glacia and Gishkibis is pretty dumb. Uh, three Aqua Mirrors, the mandatory ritual spell card for the deck. You really, I don't think any of the other ritual spell cards are really all that great. Um, and you can return this to the deck to add any ritual monster, or I think it's any Gishki ritual monster. Uh, yeah, any Gishki ritual monster in your graveyard back to your hand. So, I mean, free plus one, I guess, if you want to count it as that. It basically removes, like, if you want, you can, if you tribute two, like, one of these for one, another one, you can use this, put the other one back in your hand. You basically just, you know, played this to special summon one, whatever. Um, or Heavy Storm, Monster Reborn, Double Duality. I don't play the Dark Hole just because I like to, I put a lot of monsters on the field and I really don't want to blow them up. I mean, whatever. I can recover if they Dark Hole me, so it's not really a problem. Three salvage. This is ridiculous with vision and shadow. You just search out cards like there's no tomorrow. I mean, it's ridiculous. Uh, three trade in basically your and or speed for the deck. I mean, you know, and three royal decrees. Uh, decree just because uh, you don't want your opponent doing anything with their traps. Uh, you really just don't want them doing anything with traps. Uh, that's all there really is to it. And it hurts a lot of decks. Uh, for the extra deck, we have a or Dweller. Again, with Gishki Beast, you have two waters. Everything you have will gain 500 attack. It's dumb not to play it. Same with Bahamut Shark. You can bring out your Abyss Trey or your uh, Leviathan Dragon. I mean, why the hell not? Uh, Emerald. Good way to kind of uh, control the graveyard if you want to drop a Mullen Glacia or if you want to search out something from your deck or whatever. I mean, there's always that. Uh, Diamond Orwolf, basically your standard Scrap Dragon Cowboy, because it's Cowboy Kachi Kochi. This has actually won me a couple games, just because it can attack twice, you know. Uh, Chain, you can dump uh, Aquamir or one of the Rituals to the graveyard. Like, if you have one in the graveyard and you need the other one, you can do that, and then you can just add more, the Ritual to your hand. Um, you can do that with, you can also dump something that's like a Salvage Target if you wanted to as well, because the fours that you use in here are all Salvage Targets anyway, so if you detach one and send one, you're going to have two cards to... You know, add back with salvage. Um, May stroke, pretty self-explanatory. Same with the abyss trait. Uh, Tachyon, because you can overlay uh, living enemas and moon glaciers if you really want to. Uh, Leviathan, self-explanatory. Black corn ship, because it's a black ship of corn. Um, one papal operative, one steel swarm roach, and one Gustav Max. This you make with two Zelgigas, because uh, you know going for 6,400 and then burning for another 2,000 isn't game. Um, so yeah, this is my Gishki deck. I hope you guys actually really enjoyed this deck. Uh, I might actually change it up a little bit later down the line. I'm not entirely sure. Um, my friend Sora1992EX, aka Guardian Yados Gaming, um, played this deck on DN for a while, and he actually went undefeated for quite a while. I think he only ended up only having one or two losses, maybe three max with this deck, and he went up, I think, at least 20 or 30 wins. So it was kind of dumb. Um... But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the deck. Uh, if there's any changes that you would make, uh, feel free to make a suggestion, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click, you know, an ad or two or whatever. As long as you do it responsibly, it's always a big help. Um, so yeah, until next time, this is Team Deception 9 signing out.